About 4,000 people showed up at Speaker's Corner at Honglim Park on Saturday for a protest against the Population White Paper that was approved in Parliament last week. The turnout surprised the organiser, Transitioning.org, a support group which helps the unemployed. We found things success. Right? I feel great. Right? I'm actually very proud of Singaporeans who came and made history. It is the first biggest protest ever since post-independent days. I think basically a lot of Singaporeans are not happy with the white paper. I think this turnout is a good demonstration uh, that we are not happy. Right? Please listen to us. If we want to do a referendum or do more national conversation. The protest lasted nearly three hours and featured 12 speakers including opposition party members like National Solidarity Party Vice President Jeanette chong Aruldos, Singapore Democratic Party Treasurer Vincent Vijay Singer, and former presidential candidates Tan Chi Se and Tan Kin Lian. The speakers expressed their unhappiness over the population white paper and touched on a range of issues, from Singapore's immigration policy to our low birth rates. As a Singaporean, my concern is that the core of Singapore will be diluted if we continue bringing these hundreds of thousands and millions of foreigners into our midst so that our economy can, can be vibrant, so that our economy could be dynamic. Economy is not everything. The economy has to, has to be for the people and not the people for the economy. You got baby bonus one, 2001. Baby bonus two. Baby bonus three, and now baby bonus four. All these years, the birth rate keeps on coming down. Same policy, you just change here and there. Little bit of what they call tweaking. You don't change the fundamental, so it doesn't work. Over and above the crowded trains, traffic jams and other inconveniences, there is a far more important reason why we have come out here today. With this white paper, the government will completely change the character of our nation. Not just over the next 18 years, but forever thereafter. It will reduce Singapore to a business entity without a soul. A hotel, not a home. A few speakers called for the government to adopt a more consultative approach, with lawyer Nizam Ismail saying that the government should have a green paper containing Singaporeans' feedback to supersede the white paper. When the white paper was first presented, many balked at the population figure of 6.9 million by 2030. The government's explanation that the figure was not a target but a worst-case scenario used for planning did not assuage critics. While the speakers voiced their disapproval of the white paper, they were quick to emphasise that their stance is not xenophobic. I really believe that what the white paper is doing is creating a, part, a final push factor for more young Singaporeans to leave Singapore. This also means that we are also opening a floodgate where a lot of immigrants are coming to Singapore in such a fast pace, in such large quantity, they don't have time to assimilate into our country. It's not fair for them and it's not fair for us. Many of us have reacted angrily to the population policy and we have directed our anger at our foreign brothers and sisters. This is wrong. Foreigners are our fellow human beings and they deserve our respect and our friendship. To oppose the government's population policy, which is our right and our duty, we must direct our dissatisfaction at the government. After the speeches, Mr Goh, president of Transitioning.org, appealed to those in attendance to sign a position which the organisation will forward to the Prime Minister's office, asking for a referendum on the white paper. More than 1,000 people have since done so. It's a valid petition. It's yeah. not like we are xenophobic, as mentioned by the speakers. It's just that this island is just too small. I think why a lot of people came here despite the rain is because there's a genuine dissatisfaction and... It seems like the government has not hurt the people. We are not against the foreigners, but more we are against the policies that the government are bringing out. I just feel that, you know, um, 
this is just one of the issues, like uh, government issues, which uh, should not go through very fast in Parliament. You know, and, yeah, the process. Yeah, yeah. This is like any other issues. So it's good that uh, as people we. We say no, you know. Transitioning.org will organize a forum discussing the white paper at an indoor venue in March.